In Super Mario 64, you'll encounter Koopa the Quick, a speedy turtle you must race on foot to designated points of certain worlds. Now, Koopa the Quick has some behavioral traits when it comes to the giant cannonballs that roll down the hills of the bomb battlefield. If one happens to be in his way, he'll always jump over them to avoid the obstacle and carry on moving forward. There's also another trait which is slightly less obvious in that if one of the cannonballs is rolling away from Koopa the Quick, but still in front of him, he'll slow down to avoid hitting it. And this is where we can use the cloning glitch previously mentioned to break Koopa the Quick. By getting the cloning glitch and having Mario hold one of the cannonballs, we can manipulate Koopa the Quick by throwing them in his path. Now, as expected, if we throw one in front of him, facing him, he'll jump over it. Nothing too surprising there. However, throwing one in front of him but facing away from him slows him down. But because the cannonball is stationary, Koopa the Quick is programmed to begin going into negative speed if he gets too close to a cannonball. Except, Koopa the Quick doesn't have any animation associated with that specific action, and so he gets completely destroyed. He'll get contorted and switch positions relative to where the game thinks he should be, and it's just amazing to watch. And because Koopa the Quick follows a set path to reach the flag at the end of the race, he's unable to go around the cannonball, so is destined to keep approaching it and backing away. This is honestly one of my favorite things in Super Mario 64, and it's amazing just how easy it is to break Koopa the Quick. This is revenge for all the times he beat me in Tiny Huge Island.